What is Tor? Tor is a browser that uses an old version of Firefox. It is a project that the US government has created for privacy. What does Tor stand for? Tor is an acronym for The Onion Router. So how does Tor work? Let's say you want to send something to your friend, like a website link, an audio file, or even an email. As the email is being sent to your friend, someone that wants to see that email can see it, and you will never know the difference. Now if you don't use the Tor network and you are accessing a website, your IP will be visible to the host, as well as other prying eyes. And this goes both ways, when you download and upload. However, if you're using the Tor network to access that same website, you suddenly have more computers on your side. The ones with the onions are Tor nodes. How does this work? When you try to access the website, your request is actually not sent directly. Your request is sent encrypted, which is displayed in green, to a random node that doesn't know where it gets the information from. It only knows where to send the information. That brings it to another random node, which does the same thing. This happens at least three times, until it is sent to the last node, which is unencrypted, as shown in red. However, the website thinks it's getting the information from the last node and not from you, thus creating an alternate IP. Now when the website sends information back to you, like when you are downloading or click the link, that information is again sent back through the nodes, making you concealed. Every 10 minutes, a new route is made. Now you know what it does. How do you install and use it? I'll explain. First, go to the link in the description, or torproject.org. Choose your language, and then save the file. Once it finishes downloading, extract it to your desktop. Now this folder is what contains everything you will need to run Tor. You can also place this on a flash drive if you want to go somewhere else and be safe, like a library or your friend's house. No installation is needed, just double click this icon and it will open Tor. Once you double click it, Tor will find a route as we discussed earlier. You can also decide to help out the Tor network by becoming one of the other nodes, or even be the exit relay, the red computer. The browser will launch once it has established your network of nodes. Tor will open a page that will tell you what others think your IP address is. This is not your standard IP, this is actually a new one. If you wanted to test and make sure your IP is as Tor says, you can go to whatismyip.com. This website will tell you what websites see as your IP. Since we are on the Tor network, it will ask us to accept the risks. And as you can see, the two IP addresses actually match up. Now one last thing, I'm going to show you where the websites think I am actually located. I'm located in Los Angeles, California. And as you will see, they think I'm located in the UK, in the middle of nowhere. 